you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me today? Come on in. Let's get started. So what do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I'm not only bringing to you, I believe it is six DIYs using those candles that you can get at the Dollar Tree and along with those DIYs, I am also bringing to you five hacks using these candles that is going to make DIYing with them and using them so much easier. These are money saving hacks. These are life saving, mind blowing hacks that you are not going to want to miss. So I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Let's get to it. Although these candles are $1.25, they are still a really great buy. And would you look at the color selection in back of this one? You can get these in just about any color. So I say pick some up and get creative. This first hack makes melting these candles so stinking easy. I do. I place them in the oven. I set my oven to 300 degrees. Place them on this pizza tray. And in five minutes, these are gonna be good and melted. There's no need to use the double broiler method unless you want to look it. It doesn't get any easier than that. I'm gonna start off with this white candle. I'm gonna remove the wick because we're gonna reuse it. Why wouldn't we? On the bottom of these wicks is this metal tab. I'm gonna place just a bit of hot glue there and place it at the bottom of what is soon to be my candle. And this is gonna prevent the wick from floating up when I pour the wax in. I'm gonna start off with the white wax because I'm gonna show you just how easily you can layer a candle with different colors. Now when you do melt down the wax, you will notice that it was a half a jar versus when we stuck the wax in the oven, it was a full jar. That's because these candles, the wax is whipped. Once I've got my white in, I'm gonna take these wood embellishments from Dollar Tree and I only filled my wax a third of the way by placing the wood embellishment right along the glass and just kind of sliding it down, it's going to keep the embellishment pressed up against the glass and it's going to add a real nice embellishment. Once my white is solidified, I'm going to take the red and I am good to go ahead and pour it right there on top, just like so. Yes, this is a pretty cool trick. I've done layering before in the past. Now with this one, I knew that by placing the white candle wax on top of the red, it was going to change the color of my wax, which is fine. It is going to turn it pink. How fun and cute is this, right? But I'm feeling like it needs to be finished off with a bit of twine there at the top, cause why not? Or some fun ribbon, a decorative ribbon. I'm also gonna add another wood snowflake and one of my twine bows. Now here's another life-changing candle making hack. Sinkholes, they're a thing, right? If you don't pour it right, you don't pour it at the right temperature, you end up with a sinkhole. Easy fix, take a heating tool or your blow dryer. This is a heating tool that I bought several years ago. You can find it at Joann's for about $10. You're gonna heat up just the top of your candle. We're not sticking our candle back in the oven and melting it down, hoping those sinkholes go away because they won't, they'll come back. So just by taking your heating tool or your blow dryer and melting that first layer of wax until the sinkhole fills in, you're gonna end up with an almost perfect looking candle on top. It doesn't matter if there's a crack, it doesn't matter what kind of sinkhole, you can see that I've done this pink one and the red one, they're filled in and when they cool, yep, they're gonna be perfect. And ta-da, look at that, a perfect candle. Just that easy, no worrying about the temperature of the wax, no worrying about what temperature it's cooling at. If it's cooling too fast or too slow, you're gonna have a perfect candle. Another hack for embellishing candles is using these sprinkles. You can find these at Michael's. They're a dollar a piece. When they go on sale, you can get them for about 60 cents. They have them for every season and a holiday. A dollar, 60 cents, you can't beat that. Now these would be used for a decorative candle only, I would say, so not to cause a fire. 
I don't typically burn a lot of my candles. I like to use them as decoration. I use my Scentsy Warmer, my Wax Warmer for scent. So once I melted the top of the candle, I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle the sprinkles on the top of the wax there, the wet wax. Then I'm gonna go back over the sprinkles with my heating tool to really just ensure that the wax is melted and I guess those sprinkles are really into the wax. And you can see just how gorgeous this looks, right? And when you pair it with a layered candle, it looks amazing. Next up, we've got some window clings. Dollar Tree has a pretty amazing selection and this leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Window cling was screaming my name. I was looking for an excuse to use this and look at that. It embellishes and decorates this candle perfectly. How fun is that? Not much needs to be done. But I did want to add a couple of these acorns and maybe a little bit of twine. You know me, I stay true to my nature. What's great about using a candle like this with the window clings is that when the season's over, if you want to remove the window cling and add maybe a Christmas one, you can do that too and use the same candle. And I would say maybe just stick your window clings in a Ziploc baggie if you want to store them for each of the seasons so you can interchange them. And this, yep, right where the pumpkin stem is needs to be finished off with one of my twine bows. Cause why not? Look at how fun that is. Easy peasy. Christmas is coming, so why not take some puffy paint because puffy paint is so much fun to work with. Dollar Tree's got it now. You can find this puffy paint at Walmart. They've got several different colors and size bottles. Around this time of year, I use puffy paint a lot. And so I like to stick with the bigger bottles because I use it so much. This white candle makes for the perfect snowman. We're just gonna puffy paint on an easy face. Easy snowman face, right? Pretty basic. But if you go in with some white and add some highlights to the eyes, maybe a couple stripes to the nose, it'll add, I guess, a realism to the face. And that in turn adds character and personality. To the top, I didn't show it, but I did add some black twine because snowmen usually have black hats, right? Yeah, right. And Dollar Tree's got this black and red gingham ribbon that's gonna be perfect for Frosty's scarf. And we can't forget the buttons. This hack, I'm gonna show you how to color the white candles using, yes, Crayola crayons. Maybe Dollar Tree doesn't have the color you need. Pick up a box of crayons. I find the Crayola ones are the best. They melt the best. The color is the most pigmented. Go ahead and just remove that paper, break apart the crayon and just drop it right into that candle. Stick that candle back in the oven and look at here, you now have the orange candle wax that you needed for this next DIY. Maybe you wanna add some scent to the candle. Dollar Tree has these fragrance oils in several different scents that are very fragrant. I have added these to my scents a lot in the past. If you've got some essential oils, add an essential oil. Today, I'm adding the cinnamon. I don't have a pumpkin spice, otherwise I would. And I'm gonna add probably 15 to 20 drops because I like my candle melts. Oh, did I say melts? Spoiler alert. Yep, I like them to be very fragrant. Once I've got that oil in there, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good stir. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour my wax into this Dollar Tree silicone mold. Now, I was super excited when I found this mold because one, it was $1.25 and two, it was pumpkins and I thought that this would be a really cute way to make wax melts. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 15 minutes to speed up the solidifying process here. Once it's good and solid, I was super excited to start pulling these pumpkins out of the silicone mold until I started pulling them out and the leaves were breaking off. I tell you, I tried everything and the leaves kept popping off. I think I was only able to get this candle here with one leaf, but every other one 
the leaves popped off. Would you look at that? Oh, so frustrating. But nonetheless, it is still a cute melt. And these aren't really made for wax making, but it's a fun, I guess, mold to use if you want to use it for soap or like I did, wax melts. And we can just smooth out the top if we really wanted to. Nonetheless, it's the idea and the hack that I'm bringing to you. A leaf mold would probably be really easy and it'd pop out easier than these. And I think I have seen that one at Dollar Tree. So use the leaf mold, unless you don't mind that the leaves break off of, yeah, your pumpkin molds. Easy hack, right? To making a colored scented wax melt. Now all we gotta do is turn on our wax warmer and my house is gonna be smelling like cinnamon and it is gonna smell amazing. For this next DIY, you're gonna pick up some tissue paper. This looks like a fun festive one for Christmas time. To whatever color candle you pick up, I chose white. I'm gonna give the outside of this jar Yes, a good coating of some Mod Podge because we're gonna do some decoupage with the tissue paper. Now, is this my idea? It's not. But what's fun about this is if you take some tissue paper, maybe even a decorative napkin or some fabric and you pair it with one of Dollar Tree's amazing ornaments. This is one I just picked up the other day. Yes, Dollar Tree is now starting to stock Christmas ornaments christmas decor which is amazing but you're going to pair that ornament with some twine on the top of this piece because it wouldn't be one of my diys without it then we're just simply going to hot glue this ornament tag onto the front of this candle taking it from being just a candle to a fun holiday candle decor piece just that easily rustic and fun right who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Nicole Campbell, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Dollar Tree seasonal blocks. Nicole, I am loving the paper and the patterns you used. Thank you so much for sharing your creations with us today. DIYing with these candles is so much fun. I have been working with these candles, I want to say for about six years now, and I have always really loved doing a melt and pour candle, and using these candles you can do just that, and it is so budget friendly. Why go out and buy a block of wax when you can go to Dollar Tree and you can get a white one, you can get some colored ones, or you can just pick up some crayons and make whatever color it is that you'd like and you can DIY your own candles to gift to people or use as decor. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree candle DIYs and hacks. Those were some pretty good hacks, right? If you're feeling inspired and you want to see more of my DIY candles from the past, make sure to click on the video over here and it'll take you to some of my older candle videos. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. Because I am. Bye for now. Come make candles with me. They're fun.